Hello, uh, should I buy gold? Well, well, clearly we're in a period of uh, economic turmoil. Uh, financial pressures, gloomy predictions of the stock market, the aftermath of the uh, pandemic, and a major war going on with nuclear weapons being talked about. Look, it doesn't get any more uncertain and worrying than this. So many say this is the kind of situation when you should buy gold. Others say, no, it's too risky for the amateur. Well, I look at both views. Here we go. First of all, those who say, uh, yes, I should. Uh, well, uh, they would also say that the key to diversification is finding investments that aren't closely interrelated with one another. And golds often move separately from the stock market. Uh, it certainly did in 2008. Uh, Stocks dropped substantially, gold did well, so uh, this is a good place to be right now. And even though the price of gold does fluctuate from time to time, sometimes substantially, in the long term, it's always proven to be an excellent investment, superior to any of the uh, usual alternatives. Uh, it's an excellent hedge against uh, inflation, a phenomenon which is certainly become uh, increasingly uh, prevalent and worrying uh, just, just in the last year or so. So gold is a long-term winner. It should be part of anyone's investment portfolio. Okay, what about those who say, no, it should not? Uh, well, to begin with, it's a kind of a barbaric relic uh, that no longer holds the intrinsic value of the past. Rich people often preserve their wealth in gold bullion, but they don't do that anymore. In a modern economic environment, it's uh, currency, uh, both uh, virtual <laughs> and paper currency, that's the uh, way to store your wealth now. And it's used in the design and manufacture of jewelry, a relatively unimportant component of the world economy and social structure. People are just less impressed with jewelry than they once were. The bejeweled tiaras worn by the members of the royal family here are viewed by many as kind of amusing and inappropriate and anachronistic relics. Uh, thus, the, the inherent value of, of gold with which they were made has got to be open to question. Uh, it's a highly speculative investment, and one dominated by major investors and players, and it's thus not for the amateur. Uh, the various ways in which gold uh, can be purchased, each contains its own risks, costs, disadvantages. Uh, for example, if you buy uh, gold, uh, stock in a gold mining company, uh, that exposes you, exposes you to the uncertainties of investing in any company, as well as the uncertainty and, uh, and the surrounding economic conditions in that company's country and its currency. Uh, you can buy a participation in a gold security managed by a specialty fund, but then you're at risk of the fund itself getting into trouble, or even worse, a, a fraudulent activity in the fund. Uh, you can physically buy gold, but then you have to decide where you're going to keep it, you have to pay storage costs, you have to pay insurance premiums to protect your investment. When it comes time to sell, you'll have to find a, a reputable buyer, uh, you'll need insurance to cover the transport risk. Look, it's just a hassle. Uh, and keeping the gold you've purchased in your home, uh, well, that comes with the obvious risk of burglary and even home invasion if the amounts are substantial. Uh, investment in gold provides no income like stocks and bonds. You're, you're simply depending, uh, depending on making a profit at the time of sale. And that obviously limits its uh, potential as, a, as an investment. So at the very least, be careful. And at most, <laughs> realize it's not for the faint-hearted and, and, and think twice about it. Okay, well, with all of that, uh, arguments on both sides of uh, the gold purchase decision, what's my take on it? Well, uh, I guess my conclusion is it's not a bad investment uh, for a long-term hold, certainly as a diversification, not for all your money. 
Uh, but if you think you can beat the market and trade in and out on a short-term basis, a market influenced by smart, sometimes nefarious traders, as well as uncontrollable and unforeseen world events, you're naive. It's not for people my age, those that need a, a, a short-term uh, boost. It's a modest diversification option for the kids. <laughs> uh, that's how I come out. Hope you liked it. Uh, uh, in any case, uh, take a look at some of these uh, other uh, uh, stories about...